Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to install Apache and PHP on our server. So, an important note on EC2 instances, Amazon and AWS have their ways of doing things. It's not necessarily a plain old Ubuntu instance. The command to install Apache is sudo yum shboy install httpd. It's going to take a little while. Now it's complete. So we want to start the service. So sudo service httpd start. If we try to verify, it's not going to work because we're not letting through anything from the outside world. So we need to update our inbound rules. And this is what we're going to do. When you locate the security group and you find the inbound rules, you just add TCP from anywhere, which is 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 slash double zero and then update it and now we can try to open it now it does not hang it says it's unable to connect which is perfectly fine we have no running application what we need to do is actually copy our application over to the right folder but before we even do that we need to install php so this is the command to actually display uh, the available php versions and now we're installing php so in the next point we need to update the owner of the folder that Apache is serving our application from. The reason is because our EC2 user will be the one to copy things into this folder, not Apache. So let's run this command. sudo change owner EC2 user EC2 user group is the same and slash war slash www.html So the next thing to do is we need to update the document root in our httpd.conf file Look at the file httpd conf Then we can see there's a httpd.conf file is there okay, sudo nano httpd.conf Let's exit out let's verify that we have unzip command available because that's what we're going to use sure enough we have it installed so effectively we're ready to add the step to deflate what we have okay so what we know so far is that we can build the application successfully we can install packages we can ssh into the server and we can also copy the file onto the server. We also know that we have Apache on the server and the slash bar slash www slash html folder is indeed there and available for us to write. So we're going to add a new step. So let's talk it through. SSH agent is the plugin that we have installed in one of the previous videos. Credentials, AWS AC2. This is what we called our credentials. And then we're running an SSH command so let's save our pipeline artifact deflating step edit let's comment and let's run the pipeline what we're interested in is this part let's verify cd or www html and let's see what we have there we have all these files if all is well we should be able to run our application. However, there's one step missing. Apache is trying to serve our application from this HTML folder. The primary entry point uh, for Laravel applications is in the public folder. So if I cd into the public folder, I'll see that we have our index.php and this is where our application can be accessed. Let's locate our httpd.conf file and you can see that we have this file there, sudo nano httpd.com and we want to locate the document root we want to set both the document root and the directory to the public folder let's restart the apache service sudo service httpd restart i have skipped an important step uh, just a minute ago i do apologize for it uh, we need to enable our php 8 
So I was wondering why it wasn't wasn't working. Then I went offline, fixed it, and now I'm, I'm actually showing you this is a very important step. And then, as you can see, my application is available, which is exactly what we're expecting to see. So we have our entire pipeline ready. There's one final check we can do. We're gonna make some small text change in the application, rerun the pipeline, and then observe the text updating in the live version. I'm gonna change the title. Okay, so let's go back to the application and locate the index blade file. So I need resources, views, welcome. And then I'm gonna change the title. Hello from the pipeline. Let's save this, commit and push the change, of course. Title, change. And then let's run the pipeline. Let's refresh. And sure enough, hello from the pipeline. We have achieved a lot. If you like this video series, you may consider liking and subscribing. And see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.